Hello. What I want to talk about today, um, I'm not even sure if I've kind of developed the whole concept, but it's been around and around in my mind, so I want to, you know, just kind of talk it out and see if it makes any sense to you guys. What I'm noticing and been thinking about, oh, this is Hedda, by the way. <laughs> she's she's with us today. Um, Leo, who's usually in here, um, he's sleeping somewhere else. So what I want to talk about today is sometimes I notice, well, a lot of the times I notice that um, my thinking process, or I guess getting stuck in, you know, the introverted intuition loop or the uh, what I like to call la la land, where I just kind of go off into my daydreams and, you know, think about things and my brain organizes things out. And what I'm realizing is sometimes the thought process and uh, trying to decide how to do something and the plans and the creative process is more fun for me than the actual result. So, for example, you know, I'm going to knit something. So the picking out of the pattern and the fiber that I'm going to use and the color and, you know, the, <laughs> the whole process of deciding how you're going to construct something, you know, that getting lost in that imagination, that daydreaming of what it's going to look like and how it's going to be, that seems to be more enjoyable for me than the actual result. You know, I like the process of, you know, thinking it over and over and seeing the picture in my mind and, you know, the actual process of creating the thing over the resulting thing. And even with concepts of, um, you know, trying to figure out a different way to do something, you know, around, you know, with my little farm here and how to change a feeding method or something, you know, the actual thinking about it and getting lost in the, in La La Land, um, <laughs> is more entertaining for me than the actual result. I'm, you know, more pleased with the thinking it over than I am with getting it actually done. And it's, <laughs> an interesting thing for me so I guess I was just wondering if it is the same for you guys when you have a project or you have an idea or a concept is the sitting in your in your own mind and thinking it over and over more entertaining for you or more fulfilling for you than actually arriving you know than actually getting the thing that you wanted or working out the thing that you wanted. Um, trying to explain the intuition process to someone that doesn't have it is kind of complicated. And they always say it's like, it's almost like daydreaming. You know, I'm obviously awake. Oh, yes, Hedda. I'm obviously awake, but, you know, if I'm in a space where I can just go in, you know, into my mind, into that space, it's... It looks visual in there it's um, I can I can see what I can you know physically see inside my mind what the result will be I can see myself you know doing the things that I would need to do to get it done I can feel what I would feel like doing it what I will feel like when it's done um, and I think I read somewhere that, you know, we almost prefer, or we're not really in reality because we almost prefer our inside life, our imaginary life over real life. And that may be the case for me sometimes. <laughs> I, I think time slows down for me a little bit. If I can, you know, take the time to get lost in La La Land, if I can let my brain just run and run, I you know, time slows down and I, I feel like a lot of times I need time to slow down because, you know, we, and I am very sensitive to noise and bright lights and lots of people and lots of things going on. So the outside world seems like it's moving so fast. And sometimes I, you're not a lap dog. She wants to be a lap dog. 
And, you know, sometimes I just need things to slow down. So if I can go into my La La Land, into my daydream state and think things over and imagine and, you know, I, I think I call it La La Land because I can remember, it was probably my mom, but I can remember someone always saying to me, where are you? Are you in La La Land when I was a child? And I also remember one of my aunts referring me to referring to me as Susie Sad Eyes, which um, <laughs> not really sure what that was about. I've heard that INFJs have sad eyes, so maybe that's the case. But anyway, there's um, some rambling for you. I hope that I made some sense, and I definitely would like some feedback on this concept if you guys have the same type of processing and if this made any sense to you um, and it's not something I dislike I, I really like it actually I love the ability to go inside my mind and disappear and decompress for a while and um, get some good work done in my brain I guess but there's my thoughts for today with Miss Hedda the lap dog. <laughs> Have a good day, guys.